Today we're going to look at the Auto Command transmission. This transmission is researched, developed, and tested in Racine, Wisconsin, and we use this particular transmission in the Genesis T8 series. So I want to start by showing the three main components of this transmission. Uh, the three main components have been around since the 1950s. It's just how we're using these components to make this transmission the most efficient. So the first is going to be the hydrostatic unit. We have a pump and a motor here. This hydrostatic unit runs this blue ring gear. The blue ring gear is part of the compound planetary. All right. So then we come back to a four-speed power shift. All right. So we know that the four-speed power shift provides mechanical efficiency. The hydrostatic unit provides um, infinite speed changes. And we're using both of these pieces in the compound planetary, bringing everything together to give us a speed that we call for in the field. So if I want to run at five miles an hour in the field disking, I'm going to allow the tractor, engine, and the transmission to decide where it needs to be as far as my transmission ratio and my engine RPM to, get, to make me the most mechanically efficient in the field. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the tractor. We've started the tractor, and I'm going to put the tractor in forward. Once I've put the tractor in forward, we call that active stop start. This is a unique function to New Holland because as you can see, clutch number one is energized but is not moving. You can see the rest of the pieces of the transmission are moving, so we're ready to call a speed. We've called for zero miles per hour right here. With the auto command transmission, zero actually becomes a speed that we can use. So as I start to move forward, you'll see clutch number one, the black clutch here, start to engage. As I do that, you'll see the ring gear start to slow down. As the ring gear comes to a stop, we have our first point of 100% mechanical efficiency. We know that the ring gear is running off the hydrostatic pump. The sun gear, which is at the center of the compound planetary, is running off the engine. So we have two inputs. When the ring gear is not moving, we have a single input off of the engine. So we're providing power from the engine through the transmission to the ground, 100% mechanically efficient. As I move forward in speed and increase my speed in clutch number one, we'll start to see the ring gear turn in the opposite direction. We see it start to turn faster and faster until clutch one and clutch two match speeds. Right there, we had a seamless change between clutch number one and clutch number two. At this point, the ring gear as we increase speed, is going to start to slow down again. It slows down and comes to a stop. We have our second point of 100% mechanical efficiency. The ring gear will begin turning in the opposite direction, and we'll switch to clutch number three. As we increase in speed, you'll see the ring gear switch directions several times, and we'll move into clutch number four. Clutch number four has its own point of 100% mechanical efficiency, so we have a transport gear for mechanical efficiency. So we have three gears geared towards field work and one geared towards road transport. Now I'll go ahead and move the tractor up to full speed. Now the interesting thing about this transmission, when I come to a stop, so right now I'm at 30 miles per hour, when I, come, when I call for zero speed again, the transmission will logically step down and get me to zero miles per hour. So if I pull back on the command grip, how I control the auto command transmission, you'll see me change from clutch four to clutch three. I'll step to clutch two and clutch one, and you'll see I come to a stop, and I found myself an active stop start once again.